This episode of What's the Apps is brought to you by Netflix. Well, how's it going there? G, it's John Q here from Techno Buffalo, and welcome to What's the Apps. This week, I, I thought I'd take a break from iOS and jump back onto the other oh-so-popular platform that is Android. So for this episode of WTA, we're going to be taking a look at how you can improve and enhance your Android music playback experience with a little app called Power Amp. A while back, when I had the HTC Incredible S, one of the things that really, really turned me off about the phone was the music playback experience. I mean, it sucked. <laughs> what can I, it sucked, man. It's, but that's just my opinion, though. It kind of had a digital, fakish, kind of empty sound. It felt like HTC thought, okay, guys, we have this phone here, so we're going to put a music player in this phone because every single phone has a music player. Now we're going to just allocate all of our time, money, and resources to make 10 and 20 different phones that all look alike and have the exact same specs, but we're going to name them all something different. I have no idea why they sound like that in my head. Plus, the volume wasn't really too loud. You see, I was used to the sound and the quality coming from the iPhone. And the iPhone is basically an iPod that you can text and call people. But iPod, that's a key word there. Dedicated music player. What you're hearing right now is Mike Snow's Animal, a song that was included with the Google Nexus One, playing on the Google Nexus One. Like the Incredible S, the Nexus is made by HTC and it shares that similar HTC semi-quiet digital blah kind of sound. The LG Revolution was surprisingly better. It has a richer, more fuller quality to it. I can't put my finger on it, but it still doesn't really match that of the iPhones. And here is the song being played on what else but the iPhone. I guess this is the control part of my not-so-scientific experiment. Just a heads up, everything you're hearing is being played with a flat equalizer and the audio is recorded directly into my Zoom H4n. The Android EQs and presets aren't too good either. So let's get into Power Amp, finally, and see how we can fix all of this nonsense here. Power Amp is an incredibly well-designed piece of app. There's a free version, but it expires after a couple of weeks. And as you can see, the UI is a little tacky looking, you know, sort of reminds me of some Winamp skins I used back in the 90s. And I thought I was ballin' because I knew how to theme my music player. P.S. Power Amps does have a handful of themes. Unlike the incredibly limiting default to music app, Power Amp allows you to take full control of how your music sounds. Focusing specifically on improving the sound quality, Power Amp gives you a 10-band fully customizable EQ, a preamp, as well as post bass, treble, and volume controls. If you're not too comfortable tweaking and customizing the EQ, no worries my friends, because there's a list of preamp presets available. It takes some time to fine tune and tweak the settings to match your headphones that you want to use, but once you've found that sweet spot, the difference is like night and day. Heck, the difference is like night and a pineapple. The change is that dramatic. Seriously. Music playback aside, the app is featured packed to the max. Everything you want to do with a music player like last FM scrobbling, handset crossfading, scanning, sorting, and sleep controls, and much, much more are there. It even comes with four different types of widgets, and they all work beautifully. Speaking of beautiful, I'm gonna take some time to give a shout out to our friends at Netflix. Netflix streams TV episodes and movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. Instantly watch unlimited TV episodes and movies streaming directly onto your PC, Mac, or right onto your TV with your PS3, Xbox 360, or a Nintendo Wii console. To get your free trial membership, go to netflix.com slash buffalo, that's right kids, netflix.com slash buffalo, B-U-F-F-A-L-O, and sign up today. Back to the review. Unfortunately, a realistic downside is that this is only an application. It's software. It can enhance sound, yes, but it can't fix sound. For example, after spending a lot of time tweaking the EQ, I wasn't able to find something I was happy with on the Nexus. I mean, I can tolerate it, but the quality wasn't something I can just sit back and enjoy. I had the exact same issue on my HTC Incredible S, so I just ended up not listening to music on that thing. Which, which is, that's, that's, that's not very happy, man. It's not happy at all. The LG Revolution was surprising though. The music quality is actually pretty good on this guy. As you can see, music and sound is a very, very subjective thing. Some people like really crisp treble. Some people like the mids really high. Some people like their, their beats fast and their bass down low. Goodness, that's a terrible song. But it's true. But as far as usability, quality, and control goes, Power Amp is epic. Totally worth the five bucks, which is why I give it a solid five out of five. 
Thank you very much for checking out this episode of What's the Apps. Now, this is the let's sit down and interact with the audience part of the video. I have no idea. Okay, no idea what to review next. So if you guys know a really, really cool application that you think not too many people know about, or if you've heard of a really cool application and uh, you don't want to spend your time or even, you know, one, two, five, or even $10 buying the thing, let me know by commenting. Okay, so for next week and maybe just here on out, I'm going to be checking out what you guys are saying and I'm going to be reviewing the apps that you guys are suggesting. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for listening to me. This was John Q from Techno Buffalo and I'll see you guys next time. Latest.